What's up nerds, I'm Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to Professor Layton at the Curious Village. My new series that I'm going to start on this channel. I've played through this game before and I know it's not the longest, but there will be quite a few episodes from this game. And I love it. It will be my new uh, Monday and Thursday game. And yes, I will upload this on a Wednesday just because I didn't have the time the last two days to record this. I made a little uh, poll as to what to play next, but since I don't really have that big of a following on YouTube and or Twitter, I used Amino, an app where you can just talk about pretty much everything. And I just, yeah, I, I, I gave a few options to people who have no idea about my channel and just saw what they decided and it was Professor Layton at the Curious Village. Which I am really really excited for because I love this game. I've played through it once but that's been in when I was still in school. So that's at least six or seven years ago. Wait a minute we have 2019. So it must be yes seven or eight years ago. Damn, it's been quite a long time, but since Professor Layton is about a gentleman professor, I have come dressed for the occasion. <laughs> because yes, of course I do have a top hat, who doesn't have a top hat? I, a friend of mine once went to London and asked me if, he, if, he wanted, if I wanted him to bring back something, anything. And I said, mostly jokingly, yeah of course I wanted a top hat if you're in London, I mean, come on. And he actually did. He actually brought back a top hat and I love him for that. Oops. Oops. I'm hitting my microphone so much, so often. We're gonna jump straight in. I started the recording before, but had sound problems, which are now completely gone, it seems. It seems. But let's start a new game. By the way, I love this game, I said it before, and I say it is about pretty much every game I play, because I only play games so far that I really like. Um, but Professor Layton is one of those examples of an amazing game with amazing, uh, amazing atmosphere. Because the art style is incredibly beautiful. It's just cute and all, and all hand-drawn as far as I know. Uh, and the music. I'm not one for video game music. Like, I'm bad at music in general. I'm not musically well versed person. I can't really. I don't really get music. Like, I love music. I love hearing music, uh, listening to music. But I. Like, a, a friend of mine always keeps um, showing me stuff on the guitar. Like, look what I can, or hear what I can play now. And he plays stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, do you know it? No, but it's from that and that game. Oh, yes, of course, I've heard it before, but I am bad at recognizing music. But Professor Layton is the one game that I have, from start to finish, played with music on. And yes, I don't do that normally, because it is just so nice and just peaceful. And the voice acting is great. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... Of course, since I stretched the emulation, it's... The quality is not as great. But at least the sound works now. Took a bit of fiddling around. I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Look, my boy. Do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? By the way, uh, mo like the whole game, or almost the whole game, you play with your stylus. So yes, the mouse cursor will be there. Because I could... Uh, I could record and not record the mouse cursor. 
but since this is a puzzle game and it requires a lot of puzzle solving and a lot of me doing I should do this, this, then that, I think I'll keep the cursor because then you can see what I mean instead of just like when I say yeah upper left and there and there you just have to wait what, what huh? so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the arrow because then everyone can see what I mean oh no this is an altogether unique and exciting situation and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity but I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination I love his voice. I Two so love his ago, voice. Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Baron Augustus Reinhold. Mm. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. I can't actually use the headphones like to this. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, yes. I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. I mean, who wouldn't? But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. That looks so stupid. <laughs> and it feels stupid. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have got along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple, anyhow? Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem. Yet, its identity remains elusive. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that your famous intuition at work again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. This is all so exciting! I hope Sam Mister is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. Of course, it's called Saint <laughs> Mister. Oh, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request. Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. It's so fascinating. This is a Nintendo DS game. It's not a 3DS game, it's not a DSi game, whatever. It's just Nintendo DS. But it has almost full voice acting, or at least it has full voice acted uh, cutscenes. It has cutscenes, like, they just blink and there's just the same two or three or like five frames in the background going over and over again at the same time. But it's just so much love, so much detail. Not and I gotta sneeze soon. I feel it. I can feel it. What's this? Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. Awesome first puzzle. Care to give it a go, Luke? I'll do my best. A puzzle like this should be no problem for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. That's basically how most of this game goes. Layton sees something or finds something or finds a puzzle and gives it to Luke like hey come on you can do it Very and well that's then, Luke. pretty much us this one to you think of it as a warm up for things to come all right puzzle 001 puzzle worth 10 picarets uh picarets are the like it it's not 
really a, a currency, but it kind of is. With Picarettes, if I remember correctly, you can get some, some hints here and there. And if you, if you can't solve the puzzle, it gets, a, or if you need a hint, I think, you get less Picarettes, something like that. Okay. My village is on the road that leads to no other village. I look forward to seeing you there. Okay, the road that leads to no other village. So basically, this couldn't be it because there is a road that leads to another village. This can't be it because there is another village. So it has to be this one because there are dead ends. Here's the dead end and here's where we go. Draw a circle around the village in one stroke. Once you circle your selection, tap submit. So basically, this is it. And we submit. Well, here's my guess. Also, <laughs> from his uh, from his reaction, you can see if you're right or not. Like if he smiles in the uh, second to last frame, and then he goes like, "Ha!" Then uh, you're right. If he doesn't, he like frowns and then stands there like, mm. "Then you know, oh, I failed." And this game is a mix between incredibly easy. Uh, puzzles like some of them are just so y you look at them and see it with the first view, uh, first glance and some are actually really tricky and this I love they just give you the explanation why what you did is right like you already did it but still if you if you like if I tried all the villages by, by chance it would tell me why that's correct. The only village that isn't connected by roads to another village is the one in the upper left area of the map. It looks like you're already all ready to start solving puzzles. Yay! Like, the beginning is pretty there easy. Later on... As far as I can remember, there aren't that many puzzles where you really have to think hard and stuff, but it's just... Like I said, it's a very, very peaceful and nice game. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor? Do you mean to say you've already worked out the village's location? Sure. <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. And we're off to the curious village. The art style, I, I so love the art style. I, uh, Professor Layton, I, I think there are five, six, maybe seven games. I don't know. I didn't follow it really, because I think the first three, two or three, are 2D, and then it goes to 3D, which it's it's still looking cute, but there's just uh, the whole magic for me was completely lost with the 3D Laytons. It just this 2D is so distinctively beautiful and nice, and the 3D is just classic Nintendo 3D. Like, small and childlike Pokemon Go, something like, you know what I mean. But look at this, isn't that just a beauty? I would not want to live in there. <laughs> it's just so... So fun. This whole game is so gives me a warm and fuzzy feeling. I hope you like it too, and I hope you. Uh, I hope you're. I, I. I'm not too annoying with my. With me being overwhelmed, not overwhelmed, but me being just happy with this game. <laughs> okay, now we're here, and there is no more voice acting for now. Interesting. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? Um, I won't try to replicate their... Their um, dialect, their... What's it called? Accents. But I will try to, like, kind of emulate their voices, but not really. Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the 
other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Alright. There will be a lot of clicking. Because it's not always the point that you need to go. Like, there are a few riddles here and there. There are a few other things you can do. So, don't just click where you need to go. Look all around. Not even the latent mobile could make it across the river, huh? Or latent mobile. But of course, much as I adore the contraption, it's just a car after all. So, because sometimes there are places where you get uh, hint coins. It appears the drawbridge is the only way in or out of the village. Okay, but here there doesn't seem to be anything for now. So let's talk to this guy. Good day, sir. We'd very, very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Well, look like the sort to go dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy-looking outsiders. Huh? Got a lot of nerve. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd love to lower the bridge for you, smarty pants. But the engine is broken and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Hmm. There's all these infernal slots I could put in the, I could put the crank in, but it ain't got no clue which one to use. Hmm. So, brain box, got any idea which one is the right one? Sure thing. Puzzle number two. Sometimes they are not in order because like I said you can find uh, puzzles here and there so the next one doesn't have to be three there's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot choose the slot that fits the crank shown below okay we got one square on a Line, we got one square on a uh, <laughs> god damn it, corner, and we got the triangle on a line. So it would be either this, this is not the right one, and this can also not be the right one because they both are on the line, and here they are both on the line as well. So it has to be this, because this is the only one with one on it. But wait a minute. If you point it on this, yeah, of course, it's number one. Has to be. Luke, Unless I completely missed something. Same with him. If he smiles in the, uh, key to success. <laughs> in the uh, second to last frame, you're right. Nice drop. Now drop that bridge. All right, great. That will do it. Hold on a second, I let her down. Mm. I'm going to say it again. I just don't feel right about letting outsiders into Saint Bestair. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guest, I guess it. I'd better. At least give her my regards. You hear? And in the puzzle index, I, I think that means I can uh, do the puzzle again if I so choose to. I mean, I don't know why I would, but yeah. By the way, people are still talking about maybe Professor Layton for Super Smash Brothers. It would be amazing. I would love it. But, like, he doesn't have any moves, technically. But I would love him. Yes, we finally arrived in Saint Mystere. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here. <laughs> well, Luke, we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. I say, Luke, this is a perfect time to explain how to move about during our investigation. Give the shoe icon in the lower right corner of the touch screen. What the? Sorry, but there is... Hmm. Steam just told me that it needs restarting and I don't use Steam right now, so why? Okay. Give the shoe icon in the lower right corner of the touch screen a tap with your stylus. After you do this, a set of arrows will appear on screen. Tap one to head in that direction. So remember, when you want to move, just tap the shoe. Go on then, give it a try. 
Okay. Come on, here has to be something. I was talking about coins everywhere. Yet I don't find any... Mm. At least for now. Um, I can talk to these people. Or I can move around. You know what? Let's stay here and talk to these people. Oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to St. Mrs. Dare, where our local expert is the puzzle. Oh, before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a certain number of picarets. The more picarets a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things happen when you get enough picarets. Imagine it, a reward for solving puzzles. For practice, try this little riddle that your head reminded me of. Think good and hard before you answer. Okay, so probably either secret ending or some something. We get something. Okay, okay. These four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall, but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and a height that are the same length. Which hat is it? Okay, so one of them is the same length as height. Is there any way to find that out? Like, is there any way to rotate them? No. Basically, B can't be it, that's way too small. The only thing I could do now is like use something to measure because this thing is almost the same height. Almost. Nope. Nope. So from this it seems that A is correct. Because uh, like I I I don't see uh, I don't see I don't see any other way to really check that. Cuz D is way too long. C would be my guess, but like I said, I just held something to it and it seems A is the right way, is the right one. Seems to be. If not, then we go. I don't know. Hey, yes it is. So that wasn't really a riddle, because if you don't have anything to to measure, it's mostly just guessing. That's right, this is a very famous optical illusion. An optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. Well, it's not really that it's an illusion, it's just that since it is in a different direction, you don't really see that well. But hey, who am I to judge? Oh, bravo! I think you've gotten the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be resolved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the picarets you can earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm? It goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answer on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you too. <laughs> nice little... The lady. We can go in there. Of course we can. Or at least we can check out the door. Don't you think we should head to Reinhold Manor, Professor? Okay, we can go there later. First talk to this guy. <laughs> Stashin. <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to St. Mister, huh? The name's St St uh, Stashin Scarfen. <laughs> and I've got some advice for you. Stash and Scarf. I mean, I get it, but still, Stash and Scarf is an amazing name. <laughs> Tap that barrel back there with your stylus. Don't ask questions, just do it. Okay, so now we can find it. I found a hint coin. That's it. So it just had to, like, open that option up first. Yeah, I felt good, didn't it? Around these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. When you find yourself up against a really tough puzzle, you'll want a hint. Trust me on this one, fellows. And it's just those time when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. I bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. 
There are a limited number of hint coins in this village, so don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, when you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Really sorry. Mind you, hint coins won't always be hidden inside barrels. Check any objects that seem suspicious. Got all that? Good. Be seeing you around. So yeah, it's mostly stuff that moves or stuff that looks strangely out of place. Yay, another barrel. Uh, sometimes it's something as easy as just a window, like an open window or here there was something. So that's why I keep clicking around every now and then. Uh, I want to go back outside to see... It's amazing, Professor. St. Mystere appears to be surrounded by thick forests on all sides. Indeed it does, but enough talk about trees. Oh, uh, but enough talk of trees. Well, it doesn't matter. We should head over to meet Lady Dahlia now. Can we? No, okay, we cannot. I wanted just, just to see if there were any hint coins. I've been thinking, Professor. Shouldn't we be keeping a record of our investigation? You've brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. Oh, yeah. First, tap your stylus on the trunk in the upper right corner of the touchscreen. This trunk contains all manner of information that you can access by tapping the icons. Touch the icon marked save to touch the icon marked save to save your game. Tap the uh, journal icon to read over notes about your adventure in Saint Mister. Next, we have the puzzle index icon. Tap it to view all the puzzles you've encountered. Puzzles you've solved have a tick next to them. Puzzles you've seen but haven't solved are blank. You can retry any puzzles you've solved from this screen. To retry puzzles you haven't solved yet, you must return to the actual side of the puzzle. Oh yeah, that's it. You don't have to actually solve all of them. Like, if you want, you have to for the story. But some you can just look at, say, oh, fuck it, and just click out and go somewhere else. Don't be afraid to use the item items in the trunk to help our investigation. It will be second nature soon enough. Enough explanation for now. Let's make our way to Reinhold Manor. An arrow marks our path on the map. All we need to do is head in the, direct, in the right direction. Lead the way, Professor. So basically, we just finished the tutorial. Yay. And we're gonna save our progress. It's 27 minutes. Yeah, I think... Like, as always, it will be around 20 minutes. Sorry. 20 minute episodes. The first episode, like... No, close to 30 so we're just gonna start looking around for hint coins and then talk to this guy down there we'll make one more riddle or do one more riddle that clock tower looks rather worse for wear speaking of clocks i've just uh, i've just got the puzzle for you okay then we'll do this and then we'll end the episode wow this puzzle is worth 50 picarets that means it's technically harder okay an ordinary analog clock has two hands, with the longer hand moving faster around the face of the clock. Assuming that this clock keeps perfect time, how many times will the long and short hands pass over each other between 12 noon and 12 midnight? Okay, you can scribble notes in any open space on the touch screen. When you have your answer, tap input answer. Next, we'll go to the answer input screen, write one digit at a time, make sure the digits have been recognized correctly and then tap submit. Okay, so we want between 12 noon and 12 midnight. That should be 12 times. I'm feeling quite stupid for doing this, but it's one for one, two, like, wait. Okay, right now it's one time. Technically, this when they start, de, 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 de. long and short pass over each other. Yeah, so this will be the first time, right? Because it's one, then the small one is here, two, then it's here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and for twelve. Hmm. For 12, they just stand here again. But that wouldn't, in my opinion, like, th this now is just... 
however you want to hear the words, because to pass over each other means the long one has to pass. So if they stop like this, then it wouldn't pass over. So I would say it's only 11 times. If I input that answer now, and it's wrong because of course it should be 12 times. You know what, I'm going to input 11 because like I said, this when they start like this and the um, minute arm goes, then it passes over the other one. You could now also say because they started at the exact same point, it doesn't pass over, it just starts from the same point, but I would say that is passing over. And then the uh, hour arm, whatever, the small arm, just goes one hour each time when the big one goes around. So I'm gonna going to input 11, which probably is wrong. But that's, well, for me, it makes the most sense. Yeah, no. I'm so embarrassed. So. I'm going to try again, which means it's worth less. Yeah. The problem is, of course, it still could be 12, but in my opinion, it could also be 10. If you don't count the starting position, it would be 10. But I'm going with the uh, seemingly easy answer. Alright, so it's 10. No, I was sure I had and if it's not 10, then I feel very stupid. Like, incredibly stupid. So it does not count the first and the last time they meet, because they only meet. I think I got it. But like I said, okay, yes. Like I said, the first one I would actually count as passing over. The last one I wouldn't. That's right, the hands pass over each other 10 times. If you think about it, the, it, the answer is obvious, but you might have been tricked by the question. The hands pass over each other once an hour, but since they start and end directly on top of each other, two of the 12 hours do not count as a pass. Yeah, like I said, it's... I knew... All, all three answers make sense, but since they actually asked for passing over, it's only 10 that would make sense. I said it in the beginning, but I wasn't too sure about myself, so hey. But we still get picarettes and we still did the puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> precisely the answer. I was looking for a Luke. Well done, my boy. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna check this out and go save. We're gonna save and we're gonna end the episode for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you'll join me again next time. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye bye!